Uh-oh, some neighbors moved away. Now who's coming here to stay? Who would have thought our good neighbors, the Kodiaks, would ever move away? We're really going to miss everyone. Our lawns will never look the same. With you mowing and me trimming, we made them look as lush as a golf course. But maybe your new neighbor will team up with you too, Papa. Your secret recipe for bumbleberry pie? Uh-huh. My going away present to you. Honey crunch brittle? Oh! <laughs> cool! Let me try! Me too! Michael, it's time to go! We're sure going to miss you, Michael. Me too. Well, I guess that's it. You have our new address, so we're expecting letters from everybody. Speaking of letters, you forgot to take the mailbox I made for you when you first moved in. We thought it would be nice to leave it for your new neighbors. If you don't mind. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. bye. There go the best neighbors anyone could ever have. Yes, I hope our new neighbors are half as nice. Oh, it was easier when Mr. Kodiak did the mowing and, and I did the trimming. Oh. Careful now, Papa. Remember your... Oh! Back. Time for a break. How about some lemonade? Oh, oh that would be nice. Thanks, Mama. Oh, looks like someone's moving into the Kodiak's place. Look, they have cubs, and they're our age, too. Can we go over and say hi? We should let them get things sorted out first. Aww. It's the neighborly thing to do. We'll go over tomorrow and welcome them with a jar of Papa's best honey as a housewarming gift. Sounds fine to me, just as long as I don't have to wear a tie. We'll make a good first impression. Hey, look! Are we on TV? Hello? Hello? We're your neighbors! I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I'm rewiring the electrical system, and I'm afraid the speakers and electronic doors are locked. Well then, I guess we'll go home. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Uh, anything important? A letter from the Kodiaks for us. The rest is for our new neighbors. Seems their mailbox is missing. Huh? Well, what do you suppose happened to it? Since we've got their mail, maybe you could take it over. After all, the best way to have a good neighbor is to be a good neighbor. Hello. Ursus is the name. Just moved here from Big Bear City. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mr. Ursus. I'm Papa Bear, your neighbor. Ah, yes. You were here yesterday with your family. I'm sorry if it seemed like I cut you off. I must have blown a fuse or something. I'm still working on the wiring. When it comes to electrical work, they say I'm pretty handy with a screwdriver. If you need some help... No screwdrivers, Mr. Bear. It's all circuit boards and microchips for me. Snap them in, snap them out. Uh, well, that's not really my area. I'm more of a hammer and nails bear myself. Handcrafted furniture, mailboxes. Which reminds me, it seems like your mailbox is missing. 
<laughs> oh, not at all, Mr. Bear. I took it down. But that was a one-of-a-kind handcrafted mailbox I made with my own two hands. Oh, well, I didn't really have any use for a manual mailbox. I make electronic gizmos for a living, like this. And when the mail arrives... I'd be pleased to install one of these for you, Mr. Bear. Well, I sort of enjoy my stroll out to my uh, manual mailbox each day. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I don't see what's so funny about that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not laughing at you. It's my pager. It vibrates to let me know I have an important email message coming in. It tickles. Oh, you'll have to excuse me. I must go now. It was nice meeting you. Here. Huh? Maybe someone you know can use this. Electronic mailbox. <laughs> That's different. What's wrong with good old wood? <laughs> And I'm Aiden. You want to play soccer? Okay, but how about trying our game first? Lacrosse. See? Like this. This sure is different. It's neat. I like it. Hello. Is your mama home? Here she comes now. <gasps> Hello. I'm Mama Bear, your neighbor. Oh, hello. You look surprised. Uh, no, well, I mean, uh, your motorcycle. It's so different. It's great for running out to pick up a few groceries. <gasps> That's not honey, is it? Yes. A gift to welcome you to the neighborhood. Oh, I'm afraid I can't accept it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. It's not that. Mr. Ursus has an uncontrollable sweet tooth. He'd eat the whole jar in one sitting. Oh, <laughs> sounds like my husband. And he's supposed to be watching his weight, but the truth is... You're the one watching his weight. Yes. A lot like my husband. But we're not dieting, are we? Not at all. I'll make up some biscuits. <gasps> that would be lovely. Oh, come on. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> He likes things with doodads and push buttons more than a good old-fashioned mailbox. Oh, my back. That lawnmower. A mailbox that drives the mail right into the house is pretty cool, Papa. Yeah, can we get one, Papa? Hmm. Oh, by the way, I had tea with Mrs. Ursus today. She rides a motorcycle. She rides a motorcycle? She offered to teach me how to ride it. You? On a motorcycle? Oh, oh! That was after she told me she couldn't accept the honey. What? She didn't want my prize-winning honey? What kind of new neighbors do we have? <laughs> she didn't want it because Mr. Ursus is on a diet. Oh. And we met the Cubs, Papa. Bonnie and Aiden. They showed us how to play lacrosse. Lacrosse? What's wrong with soccer and baseball? Nothing. Lacrosse is fun, too. Motorized mailboxes, a motorcycle, mama, lacrosse. <laughs> they sure are different. No. Oh. I'll get it. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Mrs. Ursus just brought over dessert. It's fruitcake. Ooh, fruitcake's my favorite. Uh-huh. I'm a fruitcake expert, and that's no fruitcake like I've ever seen before. Hmm. I must admit, it is a little different looking. But bringing it over certainly was neighborly. And since the best way to have a good neighbor is to be a good neighbor, the least we can do is try it. Mmm. 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 
Ooh, it tastes delicious. <clears throat> different. <laughs> and since when is different a bad thing, Papa? You like going a different way to Gran and Gramps every time. And you always tell me to throw different baseball pitches. And so we've got different neighbors. Everybody's different in some way or another. You're right. There's nothing wrong with a fruitcake that looks a little different. <laughs> and that goes for neighbors, too. From now on, I promise to accept them for who they are. Especially if there's more fruitcake to be had. Now you're getting the hang of my high-speed remote control lawnmower, Mr. Bear. Thanks, Mr. Ursus. And the cut is as good as when Mr. Kodiak did it. Just different. Different? Oh, coming from Bear City, we thought all of Bear Country looked different. Well, I guess it would seem different. You know the best thing about my high-speed mower? It leaves me lots of time to go fishing. <gasps> you like fishing? <laughs> me too. <laughs> when Papa complains that the roads need repair, the family says he should be the new mayor. This road's a little bumpy. Oh, a lot bumpy. Oh. Didn't we get a flat tire here last week? Yes. And I wrote not one, but two letters to Mayor Honeypot to complain about these potholes. But the potholes are still here. Is that what the mayor does? Fixes the road? The mayor's supposed to be in charge of the whole town. Whenever something goes wrong or needs fixing, he takes care of it. Roads included. As soon as I get this tire changed, I'm going to the town hall to ask Mayor Honeypot why these potholes are still here. Okay, you fetch sticks and chase squirrels. Ruff, ruff, I'm a dog. <laughs> That's right. Now roll the dice and pick a card for Papa. So how did it go down at town hall? What did Mayor Honeypot say? <laughs> I didn't get to see the mayor. His secretary said he was in a meeting. She suggested I write him a letter. Another letter, Papa? Exactly. <sighs> if I were mayor, I wouldn't be wasting my time in meetings. No, sir. I'd be out there getting things done, like fixing those potholes. Maybe you should be the mayor, Papa. Papa can be the mayor? Sure. If everyone in town picks Papa instead of Mayor Honeypot, then Papa wins the contest and becomes mayor of Bear Country. If that's what you want to do, that's great. But just remember, being the mayor is a big job. It can't be so big that I can't get a few potholes fixed. Now whose turn is it? Yours, Papa. You live on a farm and wake everyone up in the morning. Cockadoodle do. I'm a rooster. <laughs> hmm, I don't know. For a bear who wants to be mayor, that wasn't very convincing. <laughs> I'll vote for you, Papa. Me too. Hey, look at that. I'm winning by a landslide already. Mama, what does Papa have to do to be mayor? First, we have to let everyone know that Papa wants to be mayor. So we take his picture. Uh... And put it on signs. And then we put those signs all over bear country, just like Mayor Honeypot has done. This is so that bears will know who Papa is. And then we tell them why Papa is going to be the best mayor bear country ever had. <clears throat> um, if I'm elected mayor, I promise there won't be any more potholes in bear country. And uh, if I'm elected mayor, you won't have to write three letters if you want to complain to me about something. And if you choose me, there will be no more waiting in line just to be told I'm in a meeting. If you want something done, I'll be the bear to get it done. Good 
Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Surprise! Uh -huh. Papa's in the paper! <laughs> On the front page! Well, what do you know? The story says you're gaining momentum. What's momentum, Mama? That means more bears are thinking of voting for Papa now than ever before. He's catching up to Mayor Honeypot. And I never would have gotten even this far without all of your hard work. Thanks. I'll get it! Mmm, honey French toast. Papa, it's for you! <laughs> Probably someone from the newspaper again wanting more pictures of me. <clears throat> Hello? Papa Q Bear, soon to be mayor here. <laughs> oh! Uh, if I vote for you and you become the new mayor, will you change the tulips on Main Street to petunias? I'm allergic to tulips. <laughs> Shouldn't be a problem. Tulips to petunias. Main Street. Got it. Bye now. I'll get it. There's some people here to see you, Papa. They want to know. If they vote for you and you become mayor, will you switch the Summer Honey Festival to winter? You'd better start making a list. That's all right. It's only a couple of things. Potholes, petunias, and the Honey Festival. I guess it wouldn't hurt to write things down. I know. If I get elected mayor, there's something you'd like me to do. Why, yes. How did you guess? <laughs> you have to know these things when you're running for mayor. But don't worry, Ms. Grizzle. Whatever it is, I'll make sure it gets done. Oh, thank you. I need all the trees on my street cut down. Why, certainly. You have Papa Q Bear's guarantee that... All the trees on your street cut down? Exactly. Uh, but, Miss Grizzle, uh, all of them? <laughs> Why? Well, every time Percy gets frightened, he runs up one of those trees and he's too afraid to come down. Percy? Percy's Miss Grizzle's cat, Papa. Oh. So if the trees were cut down, Percy couldn't climb up them? <laughs> oh, you're gonna be one smart mayor, Mr. Bear. Now, how am I gonna get him down? Don't worry, Miss Grizzle. Papa will take care of it. I will? We'll get the ladder. We will? But, but I'm not even mayor yet. There we go. Safe and sound. Oh, how can I ever thank you, Mr. Bear? Well, a vote wouldn't hurt, Miss Grizzle. You know, it would be a shame to have to cut all these trees down. Well, then we need to figure out a way to keep Percy from climbing them in the first place. Now there's an idea that gives me an idea. Now don't worry, Miss Grizzle. This fertilizer is actually good for the tree. Do you think it'll solve my problem with Percy? Well, let's see what happens. I don't blame him. It's pretty smelly stuff. Great idea, Mr. Bear. Thank you. You've got my vote. And thank you, Miss Grizzle. You're the one who helped give me the idea. Now, what about the rest of the trees? Can't have Percy running up those ones either. Oh. Can't sleep? A cup of hot cocoa might help. Thanks, Mama. But I'm not sure it will. How did I get myself into all of this? It's not just petunias and honey festivals. The school needs a new roof. The bridge over the stream is falling apart. We need more parking at the hospital. New books for the library. Ah, <sighs> you were right, Mama. Being a mayor is a big job. Now I know why Mayor Honeypot didn't have time to see me. He has a lot more important things to worry about than a few potholes. <laughs> <laughs> 
If I become mayor, I'm not sure I can do it all. Well, it looks like you're going to find out. You stand a pretty good chance of winning tomorrow. I know. Well, at least you found a way to get out of cutting down all the trees on Ms. Grizzle Street. Yes. We found a way to solve that problem together. Now, if only we could get everyone to help like Miss Grizzle and be part of the solution instead of just part of the problem, it would make any mayor's job a whole lot easier. Did you hear what you just said? Help be part of the solution. Why did Mama and Papa go behind those curtains, brother? Because today, all the grown-ups are picking who they want to be the mayor. The rule is that each vote has to be secret. Then, after everyone puts their vote in that box, the votes are counted up. Whoever gets the most votes wins and is the new mayor. So who do you think is going to win, Papa? You or Mayor Honeypot? Oh, I know who's going to win, sister. Mayor Honeypot. <gasps> I want to thank you for dropping out, Papa Bear. I was sure you were going to win. You dropped out of the race? Yes. I realize that Mayor Honeypot is doing a better job than I ever could. Instead of trying to take his place, I can do more for Bear Country by helping Mayor Honeypot. Instead of just complaining and being part of the problem, I'm going to be part of the solution and help him get things done. Well, that's why I formed the Bear Country Volunteers Committee. The committee will fix things all over Bear Country, and anyone who wants to help can join. And I've appointed your papa as president. Yay, papa! And as president of the volunteer committee, I'd like to get my first project underway. Let me guess. Fixing those potholes? <laughs> you betcha! We want to help! We want to help! <laughs> That's the spirit. Now you're official members of the volunteer committee. Well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> Let's go!